Hello and welcome back to my channel. The light is intense. I need a filter. Oof. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke. If you are new here, this is a channel where I talk about houseplants, clean wave, and do DIYs and I'm really struggling. So this today is going to be like a vlog video and I am trying to ship out plants. I did a contest through my Instagram um, and I have the last plant to send out. So I sent the other one already, but this one I have held back on because it was in a colder state. And so I did not want to send it um, and it died through shipping. And so it's now finally warming, warming up in her area and I'm going to send it out. And I'm gonna show you how I package the plant. There are a lot of videos that I watched to compile this together of what I've done. This is the second time shipping plants, so I am by no means an expert at it. But if you like it, make sure to subscribe. That way you can be up to date on more videos like it. Again, by no means am I an expert at this. Um, so I had success, I would say, at the first one. Um, I forgot to ask for like a photo or like an actual photo of her opening it. Um, but the only feedback I got was the poster board, which we'll talk about. Hold on. The poster board. Some of the leaves got stuck on it because I like curled it around the plant like this, but I did it like this. And so some of the leaves got stuck and a little crunched in there. Um, but she said the plant was good, was fine. So I'm going to hopefully rectify that situation. Again, it's only the second time I've shipped out plants um, and make this one better. So I just wanted to share with you what I am doing. And then I'll share at the end of this video how the plant survived if it if it survived and then i'll share it if it survived if it didn't i am just talking to myself but here we go what you need what i'm using poster board this poster board is like a dollar at dollar general dollar tree i it was a big sheet i cut it down because what i do again um, is wrap it around the plant once i've packed it all in there like this um, and just hopefully secure those leaves a little bit better People have used brown paper uh, sack or like um, crate paper and done that. And I think that is great. I just saw a video on here of someone using uh, not exactly this, but they used something similar like a cardboard um, and basically created a round for the plant so that it would be a lot tougher than just paper and it wouldn't crumble in. So that is what I use. I picked up these boxes from UPS uh, actually they cut it down for me so it was a really like it was a six foot box i think or longer it was huge cut it in two and so it perfectly fits one plant and this is 21 inches wide by 6.25 inches if you're wondering and so they cut it down i got two boxes out of them which was perfect it was like six dollars they did it um, i found them on amazon for cheaper so you can i'll i'll link it below and you could then cut them yourself self if you wanted to go that route then you need tape and polyfill so i really wanted to keep this low-key as easy as possible i would say and so this is what i am using um actually a lot of people that i watch the videos on this is pretty much what they they use is polyfill um the corrugated they'll use corrugated cardboard and wrap their plants, which maybe I should have done that instead of the poster board now that I'm thinking about it. Not sure why I didn't do that. Um, but anyways, and then, or they use the crepe paper and they secure it that way. So I am just going to basically vlog this, show you how I'm packaging it. So stay tuned. Okay, so here's my lovely plant. This is my workshop setup. Um, but I am just going to first start off by adding some polyfill to the top. I did water this last night. Um, it is suggested that you water it like a day before you start to ship it, so I did. The last plant, I actually watered it the day of, like two minutes before I potted it, or I mean um, packaged it. Uh, so I just take the polyfill. This is what I did on the last one. This is what I've seen everybody do, nothing uh, you know, nothing that you didn't already know, but this just keeps the soil in and hopefully maybe a little bit of the moisture in too. So I do ship it in my good soil. I also wanted to test that. I've seen a lot of people ship them bare root or with sphagnum moss, but we're testing it out. So I'm using just my good soil. Then I'm going to get this lovely 
duct tape that is incredibly difficult to get undone. And I'm going to cut it. Yes, I don't rip it. I just cut it. And it's very sticky. And then I'm just going to tape down this polyfill and try not to tape the leaves. I'm going to try to get them all together. Okay, like so. Then I'll tape it just to make sure there's no gaps showing. Okay, so that's all taped up. I'm also going to put a piece of tape across the bottom so that no soil kicks out. Okay, missed a spot. We're good. Okay, so that's all I do for the plant. Now I have to actually put the cardboard around it. So, so this is where I messed up the first time. And again, I just overlapped it. Um, and so I'm going to try not to do that. So for the plant's leaves, you want to make sure that they're all up. I do know that um, from just having plants shipped to me, but you want to have them up like that. And then I kind of just attempt to roll it up. This was the very difficult part the last time. So like that. So what I don't want this time or that's really tight. I think I got that actually a lot tighter than I did previously. Oh yeah, I think that's actually good. Okay, so I'm gonna try that. None of the leaves are there. I think what I struggled with the last time is to get this taped up by myself. So it was really hard to do one-handed with the stickiest of tapes. Like that. And then I will add polyfill down there, so make sure that none of the leaves. Looks really good, okay. And then I'm gonna cut this down because obviously it's too tall. So I am gonna cut this and it's not gonna be perfect. Okay, so there it is inside. I know you can't really see it, um, but now I'm going to add a piece of tape across the bottom as well. You know, we just like to add a lot of tape, just in case it decides to slide down the bottom. But I mean, it's like, it's in there. So, okay, now I need to add polyfill to the leaves. Can't see what I'm doing, but I am going all the way down there and then just squishing in the plant very gently. Okay, so we're getting, we're getting it filled. And then I'm just going to put one piece of poly polyfill on top like that. And then I will tape it again. Here, I guess I can move it. Okay, so then I'm gonna tape it. Okay, like that. So now it's all in there, packaged up. It's not gonna go anywhere. So this is what I did for my um, previous plant too, which Queen City Tropicals, she, I've watched her for a while and she ships plants and she tapes her plants to the inside of the box. So that's what I'm doing. So I am not like putting tape on both sides yet. I am going to put the pot or put the plant um, like this. This is really hard. Um, like this. And then I'm going to tape it down. So this part will probably be really difficult to see. So I'm not even going to bother right now. So this is what I did. I added one piece of tape to the top across that. And then I added two pieces of tape one here and then one here to hopefully like keep it in and then i'm going to box up this bottom part so i have the bottom and then i add tape to the sides too but first i forgot i am going to add in paper to fill the sides so i just used this leftover paper it's crate paper and i just fill in the dead space with it Okay, so now that I've got that set it um, set in, I just add in a few more fun stuff. I made these pins and I designed them and made them 
made them myself. I didn't make them myself. <laughs> I designed them um, and then have them made myself. But um, I sell those on my Etsy shop. So there's a pink princess and then like a heart leaf and then my punch needles from my Etsy shop. So I'm adding all of this in. Then I'm gonna add on one more piece of paper to the very top. Okay, so that's it. And then I go through and I just tape the box up. Ugh. Okay, so this is what I do. And then I'll tape the bottom as well. I've got all that done. The box is ready to go. I do mark on myself which which is top and which is bottom um, because that's important when you're taking it into the post office. I do know that much. Um, so I don't really have, what do I have here? Them. Okay, so this is top. Um, I went to USPS for my first plant. <gasps> didn't even realize I spilled my Olipop. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. Anyways, I, um, went into USP, UPS, UPS. Yeah. I went into UPS the first time and shipped this. And so it was, it wasn't bad. Like the cost wasn't bad. I it made me a little nervous because it was cheap and it said it would get there like the next day. And I, I was like, no way. Um, but it did surprisingly enough. Now it was in the state of Texas. So I'm in the state of Texas. I understand it's not that far to go, but with this one, it's going to Indiana. And so I was told about pirate ship and I wanted to check it out. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to use pirate ship and I'm going to see if I can ship a plant out for cheaper. This is not sponsored. I, this is the first time I've ever done this. I am not a shipping person. I am not good at shipping things. The amount of times that I've shipped things in my life is very few. Uh, when my husband was in the military and gone uh, to basic training, or I don't even think when he was in deployed, I sent him anything. Whoops. But um, yeah, anyways, that's to say I am very unknowledgeable in this area. So this is one pound and 9.5 ounces. So one pound, 9.5 ounces. They have a whole setup. You just go through and you put in your package dimensions, your weight, and then you say get rates and it's going to give you a list of, I believe just USPS, UPS, and maybe FedEx. I have no idea. Um, looks like just UPS and USPS. So, okay. It says on USPS ground, it will get there Friday if shipped today for $8 and 52 cents, which again, normal retail, it says $25 and 25 cents. How is, how are they getting these rates? If I wanted to do a, a three day select, which most people that I watched online, like videos of shipping plants, they said to do the two to three day shipping through USPS or FedEx. We don't have a FedEx near us. Um, well we do, but it, I don't know. It's like inside another store. I'm not about to go in that. It already makes me, you know, like an introvert anxiety, I guess, about going into the post office when I don't know anything about it. And so anyways, um, they say to do that. And so I don't see like ep estimated five days for ground advantage priority mail, which I believe is what the two to three day shipping is, but it says that I will get there Saturday USPS and it's $8 and 82 cents. So the best thing is the Friday USP ground, but I don't understand. I don't understand. How do you get it that cheap? Or there's three day select. And it says it will get there by Friday the 12th. So is that like a guarantee for the USPS ground that it will get there? Or should I do the US UPS three day select, which is $11. Still like, that's a really good cost. The average cost that I um, have read about shipping plants is $12. So $12 is their average shipping cost for plants. Um, but I don't know what, why would I pay more money if it's going to get there the same and retail on that is 53.92. See how y'all doing this? Cause I don't get it. What are, why are we not getting these prices in stores? What are you doing that is taking away the cost for it? I don't get it. We're going to do the three day select. It's $11. I feel good about that. <laughs> 
I feel good because then it's like at least it's three days select and it will be there Friday. It will be there Friday. Okay. Okay. Submit and buy label. I'm really nervous about this. It's created. So I wonder if I can like go into the UPS store because one thing that the UP I went into the UPS store, they're like, okay, where's your tag? I didn't have a tag. I didn't know that you were supposed to buy those online through their website or it's a common thing to do. So I was like, I don't have a tag. And then they asked for my business name or like my name and the business. And I was like, and this is a lot. So I had to set up a whole profile, but I wonder if they can see, cause I mean, it's created through it, right? How do I okay, download the label? And then I need to print it off, which I don't think my printer has any ink in it. This is my office setup. I printed it. Okay, so it printed. I've got the label. I'm going to now cut it and attach it to the box uh, because that's what they did. They didn't even have like a sticky, you know, like USPS has sticky ones. They just taped it to the box at my UPS store. So I'm not, I know I'm not doing anything wrong by doing this. So we're going to go drop this off and we will come back with an update. And we're back with an update. So I have photos here that I will show. Everything made it, nothing seemed to be moved around or shifted. The plant looks great. It did not get smashed or anything in shipping and it arrived exactly when it said it would. So I am very pleased with how UPS worked and pirate ship and how I packaged the plants. So I hope that this helped you. If you're just trying to send a plant out to a friend, say, or maybe you're doing a swap, it isn't that difficult, but it is definitely nerve wracking. That was it. That was my plant shipping journey. So thank you so much for coming along and watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That way you can be up to date with more videos like this one.